Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Air Gamer. Welcome to Gold Mining Simulator. Now they have recently just changed the name. The game has recently undergone uh, a big update for the first time in quite a while, as well as a brand new DLC. Big thank you to Playaway for allowing us access to the DLC and the game, in fact. Uh, now I have played this a long, long time ago on the channel, a very long time ago. I can't even remember how to play it. So we're going to be starting from the beginning again. Uh, we'll let you guys decide what you think about it, if you want me to continue or not, like I do with all my kind of stuff. I always kind of have a rule now, if I get X amount of views, I keep them running, so it's always down to you guys. Uh, so yeah, we got the Gold Mining Simulator um, Mini Mining DLC set, which is supposed to help you in the beginning game, because it's really hard to afford the big machines without big loans. It's supposed to be another option. So that is enabled. We got the other, obviously, Frankenstein machinery. These are all currently on sale right now as well, uh, so why not pick them up? Okay, so what we're going to do then, we're going to start a new game, and let's see if we can remember how to play. Okay guys, so welcome to the game itself, and uh, here we are, we're here in the map, we need to go and uh, drive to the old Glen Bank and lease the old Arnold Parcel. Uh, so I did the tutorial quickly off camera, I didn't see the point in showing you guys uh, all of that to be honest with you, just, just to get the basics again for me. Um, if we go here and we have a look at the map, okay, so we're currently here, we need to drive down the road, and we're heading uh, to this bank area and we're looking to rent the old Arnold parcel which is down here um, where we'll get a very small bit of land to uh, start with okay so let's uh, let's get going so as I said before if you guys enjoy what you see today let me know in the comments down below and we'll see if uh, if we will continue and do more. Forgot that we have to drive around. Nothing is ever easy in the life of a gold miner. Whoa. Okay, so that's that road there. We'll head down. Okay, there's a fuel station. We'll be stopping there quite a bit. And I believe that this building here is the bank. And yes, it is. Okay, handbrake on. Turn the car off. Don't want to be burning fuel that we uh, don't have. Why do I think that was the bank? Old Glen Bank is further down. What a donut. It would be this building. Right, let's get out of here then. Okay, so at the moment, old Glen Bank, 450 in money. Can't do that. Uh, the buyout is 60,000. Uh, we got old Glen Bank buyout. Old Arnold Parcel. As you can see here, the lease is zero. Where these ones are all pretty damn expensive. Uh, maximum machines on the parcel is four. Okay, so we want to uh, lease it. Because we can't buy it. Okay. Oh, we can upgrade. Okay, that's good. Okay, park the pickup at the highlighted place. So let's just have a little look where that actually is. Are we? Is it heading out straight up here? It could be. If we were straight down, right. Uh, sorry, left and right. But uh, I have a feeling it wants us to go somewhere else. Here we go. So this will be the shop. We'll be coming here quite a lot as well. Buy a hog pan, no pump. Okay, hog pan, no pump. Hog pan, no pump. Which is one of these bad boys. Uh, I'm going to take one of them. I need the tray that goes with it. That's the core. Buy two hog pan mats, which are here. And we need to buy a bucket. Where are they? They are over here. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to buy a couple of buckets because we're going to need buckets anyways. So let's get three of them. Go to the checkout and buy our stuff. Okay, here we go. Here's the checkout. Uh, it's going to cost me 153 to start with. That's fine. You'll find all your ordered equipment just outside the store. Okay, that is also fine. So currently I've got 297 left. Uh, it's a very, very little amount of money. Okay, so we need to just uh, plonk everything in the back here. Okay, let's just open up that tray. Come on. Okay, easier said than done putting things in these vehicles. All right, there you go. I uh, got my buckets. Now we're going to need loads of buckets, so buying a couple of them right now won't hurt. Uh, it'll help speed up this operation because everything's going to be done by hand to start with. You've got to remember that. We've got to load this machine up with water, with the dirt, everything. Okay, so now we're going to drive out of town. If we can get out this way. Okay, so we're going to head out of town then. Oh my god. My driving skills are pretty bad, eh? Does it want us to go here first? Alright, let's just have a quick little look at the map. Uh, okay, so if we just continue going down here, that's where we're going to sell. Uh, hang on, I made a mistake here. Old Arnold Parcel's down this way, so we need to go down Old Palmer Road, so we do need to go backwards. Okay, so we're heading down this way to the old Arnold Parcel. There we go. Follow the signs. Uh, we'll learn the map again once uh, we've done a little bit of work and gone backwards and forwards a hundred times. Uh, we will get there. Okay, so we get to drive to the factory which is in front of us. The old Arnold Parcel is out the back of it if I remember rightly. Uh, the game is a bit jumpy with frame rates. Um, I don't this the auto save is doing that. Just so you know, could probably turn down a few settings maybe if need be, but we shouldn't need to have uh, the system I'm running. Okay, a story notification is blinking on the screen. It means that the part of the story is nearby. The closer you are to the story, the faster the icon will blink. And I made me crash at the same time. Okay, we're now here, so one, now we need to go to the, the old Arnold Parcel, which is down the back. I can't remember, is it straight down or is it up there? Uh, straight down. Like I said, after we've done a couple of episodes, I'll probably work out where everything is again. Won't need the map as much. But here we are. Fortunately, this is the piece of land that we have to start with down there. Uh, so we're just going to turn off the van. We're going to jump out. Okay, so we're here. Uh, so take the hog pan and box out of the car. So we're going to take this down here. It's going to tell us where it wants us to build it. Um, there. We're also going to need the other half of it. We need the box part. There we go. Okay, we're going to need the map. This will take two maps. Oh, there we go, there's one. OK, 
Okay, there's two. Okay, I'm gonna bring my buckets down here. Okay, you're gonna need these few buckets for a few different things. So we're just gonna throw you down there for a minute. You can stay there. Okay, so now we need the shovel. And very simply, uh, we're gonna have to dig by hand. And we need to fill this box up. Now, if I remember rightly, this does help you find big nuggets to kind of get you out of this area pretty quickly, but this gives us the basic of how the gold mining works. Uh, how full up is that already? 56%. And this is why I like a second bucket, because when we're further away, fill the bucket, then bring the bucket down to this uh, instead of doing it like this. For the moment, it's okay, but uh, there we go. You're lucky. You found a gold nugget. This is this because the beginning of the game would be easier, the progress would be faster. If you don't want to use any help, that's the option we recommend for the best gameplay. Uh, then reject this nugget and you'll never find one again. Um, I'm going to reject it. We're going to do this the hard way. I don't, I don't feel like we need to do this the easy way. Now, the only thing that we could look at here is how much of this am I going to... Uh, ...do off camera and how much of this grind do you want to see? So there we go, we're going to put the water in. We're going to need quite a few number of buckets of water. Now soon we'll be buying pumps and hoses and other kind of things that will help speed this process up, obviously. Right, as far as I'm aware, that's that all done. Let's throw your bucket down here then. Let's get our shovel back out. Uh, let's keep going with this dirt. Now this, without the nuggets, yeah, this this could take some time, really. But, I mean, look, this is how they would have done it back in the day. You know, all those pioneers out there. Give me a digger any day. Okay, hey, once we fill the mats of Fabe 7, we got 9% out of uh, the first load. I mean, this ain't too bad while we're here. Yeah, you're at 100%. And uh, I'm doing naughty things here. There we go. I dropped all the water out of the bucket as well. Okay, two buckets seem to wash out pretty much all of the uh, all of that stuff. So that's good. It's good to know. And the good thing is, you can stay digging here for as long as you really want. We can do up all this ground here. You'll be able to move on to the stuff that's behind us if you want to get diggers and stuff. Uh, it'll all depend on how long this kind of takes. So we could take one more shovel at least, All right? There we go. I think the two buckets would have done it. We'll just put a third one in anyways. There we go. We'll go back to our shovel. So yeah, the first upgrade here would be the water pump. As soon as we get our first kind of little gold bar. See, if you keep the nuggets on, basically you'll always keep finding nuggets. So later in the game, it, it, you know, it just spoils the fun, I think. You know, we can do this the hard way.
Okay, it looks like it does need about three buckets. Okay, so look, they're already full uh, to the 33%, but we might as well do a little bit more. You know, we want to uh, maximize our money. This just wants to show us what we need to do. But if we get a bit more money out of it, hopefully I'll be able to buy that water pump pretty quickly. Because when the water's flowing into this all the time, I've only got to shovel the dirt. See, there we go. We're up to about 40% now. No? Okay, we'll do, uh, we'll do another big load. You know, you're not guaranteed to find gold. I think before in this game, I've had to dig most of this parcel. We got 78%. You'd have to imagine the deeper you get, the better the, uh, the pay dirt, right? All about finding them gold bars. Okay, so we need to fill a bucket with water. I'm going to put you down here. Okay, so what I want us to do now is take the mat. And then we need to wash it in here. Okay, pick up the bucket. Take the bucket to the tent. That's it. We do the rest of this inside, don't we? If I remember rightly. Okay, let me just walk in. Build a big ball of water from... Okay. So let's put you down there. This needs to be filled up with water. So this is going to be the panning. Now again, there will be machinery that we'll be able to get later on that will change a lot of this uh, process around. Okay, take the bucket and use it on the gold pan. Alright, we can put you down. There's still going to be dirt in that. So then we're going to start panning for the gold. If I remember how to do it now. Okay, so we slowly need to move the pan into the water. Uh, let's uh, press up Z again because I can't remember. Rotate, move up and down. Okay, this mouse. That's fine. What we need to do now is break these nuggets up. If I remember rightly. Got a little bit of gold there, can you see it?
Uh, I still think there's more gold in here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, switch to pick mode to pick the gold up one by one. So Z, uh, what is pick mode? Shift. Okay, so we can now pick up these gold little nuggets. There's another one there. Pan the rest of the dirt until the bucket is empty. Okay. I don't know if there's more gold in here or not. Okay, got to assume that uh No, definitely must be panning more of this. Okay, so that must be it. So we'll throw that out. We'll put this bucket here. So clearly whatever you get out of the first kind of load, that's it. Pretty stuff that's gold mining in it. Alright. Oh no, wrong bad. Uh shift, isn't it? That's a nice nugget. Okay. Is there any more here? I don't think so. I think that's that from there. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so now we need to go into the pickup apparently again. Let's hide those controls. Okay, we're going to head off to the factory.
Okay, so it wants us to go to the town entrance. That's fine. We'll do that. Yeah, he wants us to drive to the blacksmith, who is uh, down here. I think. Alrighty, let's knock on his door. So that's all I've got. It'll cost 56. It'll take 15 minutes. I'm going to lose a bit of gold here. And, uh... Smelt it. There we go. I've got my first little gold bar here. Now, that's not going to give us much money, but, uh... It's the starting point of the game. Basically, it's still just showing us what we need to do. I don't know how much I'm going to need for that pump and uh, a couple of other bits and pieces because it'll also, not just the pump it needs, it will need the, uh, the generator, we need fuel for that generator, uh, lots of uh, lots of other things that are required as well. Okay, we need to sell our gold bar, I think I've got to pick it up and take it to the door if I remember rightly. Okay, sell my gold bar. It'll give me $614. So that gives me 911 We need to gather 23 grand to move on. Um, I'm not surprised by that either. It's a lot of money. But that short little bit of work, I mean, we made 600 It wouldn't take too long. I'm probably going to do a little bit off camera no matter what just to kind of move us out of this first little stage. But there are things that, like I said, we, we could be able to do quicker than that. And uh, that would be... Let's have a look. How much is a small generator? There's so many new machines here, actually, than when I last played. Um, all the tanks that could be kind of handy. Mobile wash parts. Oh, these are the mini ones. Uh, look at this little mini thing. $500, that's it. That's wicked. These are all quite expensive. Okay, so small electrical water pump, uh, 1,500. Diesel water pump, 201. Mobile generator. So I need these. So I need at least 500 just for those two. I've got 900, to be honest with you. Um, but then we'd also need to get piping and stuff. Probably need to just go and do a few other little bits before we go too crazy on that stuff. Uh, so look, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is just kind of me trying to see is it something that you would like to see or not. And if you do, we'll move on. If not, you know, as always, we'll uh, see what happens. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.